Alright guys, um, we're out here in the shop tonight, I've gotten a great deal of use out of the tractor, so <clears throat> this isn't going to be a tutorial, but I'm going to grease the tractor and count how many grease fittings this thing has, because it is a lot. If there's anything um, that I should point out, I will definitely mention it, but there's so many tutorial videos out there and it shows you in the owner's manual where all these points are. So, unless I find something specific that might be interesting, we're just gonna run through and have a count. It's gonna be a lot. So, we'll see. We're gonna start at the back of the machine and work our way forward. Running the 20 volt DeWalt grease gun, best thing I've ever bought. I had an air compressor powered grease gun and you had to squeeze the trigger each time you wanted to pump. Pain in the butt. On this one, you can just squeeze the trigger and it just keeps on pumping. Makes it nice. It's almost out of grease though, so we'll have to reload it here in a minute. I think that's it for the backup. All right, I don't know if there's any base points underneath or not. We'll take a look real quick. I probably should have looked these up before I started this, but you know, it is what it is. The drive shaft does not have a grease point, which is surprising. All right, no grease points under here that I can see. So I'm good with that. Not that any of here really gets used anyway. Looks like the front rack and pinion is grease, not, not greaseable either. Alright, so let's just start right up here. Man, can't get to that one. I raised the bucket up with a jack because I don't really want to start it from here right now. So the bucket's got to be up a little bit to get to this one. And that is not enough. So we will have to start the machine up because there is a grease fitting right down in there. So you can't get to those unless the bucket's in the dump. That's the shit. So I tilted the bucket too much, so you kind of got to go in at an angle. And it says to lubricate every 10 hours, all pivot pins and joints of control lever. Under here one more time from this side. Alright guys, that should be about it. 
hope. You just have to agree to do that. Then.